Hello, my name is John Fischel, and I'd like to take the next 15 to 20 minutes and provide an introduction to FlexNet's Manufacturing Process Intelligence. This is the Prezo's BI for Manufacturing solution. Back in 2011, we first introduced Manufacturing Process Intelligence, or as we will call it MPI. This was uh, our segue into the business intelligence market, and it was primarily focused on the manufacturing needs. The goal was to provide tools, information, and data for manufacturing so they can better make decisions and better align to their business needs. MPI was made up of three key components. We had the front-end visualization tools, the tools used for building dashboards, reports, doing uh, Excel workbooks, as well as generating uh, different types of UI interfaces. We also introduced the reporting analytics platform. This is uh, the plumbing that works behind the scenes, that does all the data interactions, data acquisitions, and then pushing data into the data warehouse. And finally, we had the intelligence packs. These are pre-packaged intelligence packs focused on different areas of manufacturing. So, how does manufacturing process intelligence fit within the FlexNet product map? FlexNet was built on a common platform using business process management as a tool to be able to build standard processes and be able to distribute them across multiple plants. On top of this, we built a series of applications targeted for the plants and their needs, the whole operational scope of functionality from production, warehouse, quality, maintenance, time and labor. And then the key differentiator that FlexNet offer was the global manufacturing suite. The ability to support a center of excellence, be able to define your best practices, and governance around those best practices, and then distribute them to your plants on a worldwide basis. And it's here in the global manufacturing suite that MPI resides. It's uh, a key tool for doing analysis, common reporting, and being able to push down from the top a standardization on how things should be reported and determined. Along with MPI, we have the intelligence packs, which reside in the global manufacturing suite, and we have the reporting analytics platform that is part of our standard platform. I also have highlighted here the executive information console. This is a new area that we're introducing, and I'll talk about later on in the presentation. So why manufacturing process intelligence? There's been a, a number of BI tools out on the market for years. There's Oracle, MicroStrategies, uh, Business Objects, Many of our customers have already standardized on this, so why would we even go out and create a tool to come into this marketplace? Well, our customers asked us to. They were having difficulties. Many of them had standardized on a business objects or a product like that. What they found is they really did not deliver to the needs of manufacturing. Typically, they were very IT intense and required a lot of interfacing and a lot of uh, uh, customization, and it really didn't support what they wanted to do in a manufacturing basis. So they came to us and asked if we could put together a solution that could help respond to business faster, provide them a global view, and help you know, support the critical decision making that they needed. The value that they're getting out of MPI it primarily is faster time to value. Combining the top two points, it's we got pre-packaged capabilities out of the box, and we know manufacturing. We've been doing it for 20 years, and we built a solution focused primarily on the needs of manufacturers. So out of the box are predefined KPIs, key to what manufacturers want, with a focus on the type of drill downs, reports, and analytics that they want. We removed a lot of the data silos that they used to have at the different plants, as they had different plant systems handling quality or equipment maintenance or production. And we also provided a shared environment for analytics and reporting, so they could work on a global scale. From an end user perspective, we had multiple challenges. There was the plant floor workers and the plant managers who needed an environment to work in. So typically they work in the FlexNet portal. Here they can define the dashboards, the analytics, and the reports they want and work closely with those. There's the engineering types who typically want to use Excel, and that's not surprising. Excel has proven to be the number one BI tool in the world. And it's ultimately, no matter what products you're using, inevitably people end up working in Excel to slice and dice and work through the data. And then finally, as mentioned, most of our customers had already made a corporate BI decision and they had a third party reporting environment they want to work in. We had no desire to compete with that. Our goal was to complement it. So although we might be able to do the 
data warehouse and analytics side of it, we still would push that information into a business objects or microstrategy so they can use their existing corporate tools as well with seamless integration. From an architectural point of view, MPI has several key layers to it. On the bottom side, we have structured data sources. And this is where we have to interface to FlexNet systems, other uh, plant level systems, obviously enterprise uh, ERP systems for master data, and then erroneous different data sources. And this is where our RAP or reporting analytics platform interfaces with. On top of that, we've got a component in RAP called RAP DI, or data integrator. And this is leveraging Microsoft technology and is built on SSIS. And what we did is built in some wizards and rapid interface tools to be able to do the data acquisition, data format, and then push the data into the data warehouse. The data warehouse itself is a SQL Server solution. It can support SQL Server 2012 or 2008, and it must run on Enterprise Edition. And it's here that it can be either a central data warehouse, it could be distributed by region, or it could even be done plant by plant. All depends on what the customer wants. And here we've used the SSAS capabilities to be able to do all the reporting and real data realization capabilities. And we were able to build two different type of components here. There's the discovery side, which is more of the process engineer, quality engineer, people who want to go through large chunks of data, slicing and dicing the data, working with cubes, doing root cause analysis. And we also use it to build out a series of enterprise reporting capabilities, predefined dashboard reports, leveraging SSRS, predefined cube views and Excel workbooks, and as well, tools to be able to customize and extend that yourself. On top of all this, because we're using the Microsoft technology stack, we have access to the different APIs. And with that, we can interface with email exchange, SharePoint, and Link. So offer up a collaboration environment to work with. So we, I mentioned Microsoft Excel a lot. Well, obviously it's the number one tool out there, and it's important in any BI solution. For Appraiso, we decided to build a standard add-in to Excel. What that allowed was a, one, a login interface to do role-based security, so we can review credentials and then provide access to the right domains to be able to get access to cubes and information that are predefined. It also now allows us to be able to have pre-populated dashboards, workbooks, and be able to have the data automatically loaded and published in. So you're not working from a blank sheet, but you can bring up Excel, have information ready to go. You can be able to do what-if analysis, modifications, changes, and then save it as a new revision. And that puts it into the central repository where people can share it and use it. So it offers up a very good collaboration environment as well. Now let me talk about the intelligence packs that come with MPI. One of the key differentiators is that we packed up our expertise and knowledge into predefined KPIs, measures, dimensions, with a variety of dashboards, reports, and analytic cubes to be able to offer out-of-the-box functionality. We've done this for production, labor, quality, and machine intelligence. And in the future, we'll be doing it for logistics, warehouse, and maintenance as well. The goal here is that you have an 80-20. 80% of what you need is right out of the box, ready to go with a quick ROI. And then the 20% that's missing is easily defined by you, not having to involve your IT department to be able to configure or modify KPIs and or customize the screens to the way you want them to be. No question that this is really where we bring the value to you because of our manufacturing background, the expertise we've learned from the customers, and what we bring to you now out of the box. Now I'd like to talk about our executive information console. This is something that came out late last year and coincided with the Windows 8 release. With Windows 8 and the new tablet capabilities, it really offered up an opportunity to bring to the executives the interface they've always wanted for manufacturing. So we built a what we call the executive console. As indicated, Windows based, it supports tablets and mobile devices, and it uses the Windows 8 style extensively. The home screen starts with a world map where the executive can define the KPIs that are key to them. As we mentioned in the intelligence packs, there's you know, 60, 70, up to upwards of 100 KPIs in each of the intelligence packs. Obviously, if it's a key indicator, there are really only two or three that are most important. So here the executive can indicate which ones are most important to them by region or by area, and they can monitor them and see with clear indication if things are running good or bad. 
In the top left corner, we also have the scorecard, one of the more important areas of this. With the scorecard, an executive can define number of KPIs that they want to monitor at this given time, see how performance is going, and being able to drill down if they see problems. They can configure this you know, on the fly, so for given time you could have a number of KPIs that are always there, but there could be something if you're doing a new product introduction where you want to see new yield ramp ups or scrap rates, you could add that to this as well. And again, there's always the full interface of drilling down and getting more information. On top of that, all the screens are fully configurable. So you can use world maps, you can use charts, gauges, dashboards, you can be able to see dollar amounts. So depending on what's important to the executive, what their metrics are, what their measurement success are, they can define the dashboards to give them what they need. And then on top of all this, we really built it to be a collaborative model. So it's interfaced with Link. So as you're working on your, the dashboards, if you see a problem, you can see who's associated with that area, if it's in a particular region. Are they online? Aren't they? You can start a Link session, do chats, capture screens, use the charms and the Win8 capability, and be able to really work together to a collaborative solution. So we really wanted to bring to market something for an executive that allowed them to do work the way they do work being able to understand where are the problems, what do I have to do, how do I take action. Kind of a watch list of where do I have to focus my attention now. So in summary, we think MPI is excellent. It really provides manufacturers what they need. The ability to have true visibility on a global scale, be able to measure plant by plant how things are, do it apple to apple and make sure everyone's using the same calculations, same capabilities, remove those functional silos that are out there, and really allow people to have the decision-making capabilities to drive their business forward. We think MPI, with the wealth of manufacturing knowledge we bring, with the prepackaged capabilities, with the different tools from the executive console down to uh, Excel spreadsheets, really offer up the wealth of functionality, capabilities, and the tools people want to use in doing self-service BI.